Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to be finishing up our soybean planting, or basically our planting for the season, and hopefully starting on uh, swathing some hay. Hopefully we can get it done today. If not, uh, it'll be done tomorrow that we get started on... Um, some hay a little bit of popcorn stuck in my tooth here there we go <clears throat> um, I may do a cut in the video here and we'll just plant maybe like a couple of rounds and then I'll come back when I'm on like the last pass. That way we can make sure that we get started on some haying. Because um, I really want to start it today. Versus waiting until tomorrow uh, to do it. Plus, you guys have watched a lot of planting already, so I'm sure you guys would not mind a change of scenery. So yeah, we'll go around the field twice, and then I'll plant off camera, or you know, I'll just do some... Um, yeah, some off-camera work, basically, and get it, get it to where there's just a couple of passes left, you know, to where we're just about done, and then, uh, then we'll come back and finish it and, uh, jump over and start doing some hay work. So I really hope everybody's enjoying this series. Uh, I'm enjoying making it. I really, 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 really like this map. Um, I'm really enjoying playing on it, that's for sure. Although by the time I finish my map, I'm sure I'll probably, probably be ready for a change of scenery anyways. Uh, which I am trying to get my map done as fast as I possibly can because I mean you know doing it as fast as I can while still doing a lot of you know details and all that fun stuff to it but just getting it done fast as I can without making like some boring map or something like that some boring plain Jane map um, but <clears throat> I do want to get it done have it playable and all that fun stuff get back to the other end of the field uh, I will uh, make the cut in the video and then uh, come back when we're just about done
hopefully we get a pretty good uh, amount of crop from our harvest. I'd really love to be filling both of those bins, that big bin in the yard, and having to expand to some of these other bins that are on the map as well. Because, I mean, sure, we'd have to travel to, you know, travel a fair bit to the bins, but that would mean just that much more money that we can make. And, uh, just means that much more upgrading we can do next, next year. Um, I'd like to get some bigger, um, like maybe a bigger plow and then bigger planters. And then I think everything else is pretty much okay. Maybe next season pick up a grain cart. Uh, I have to re-download the one that I was thinking of getting on this series in the future. Uh, it's a little John Deere 500 grain cart. I downloaded it once to take the model and uh, put it in 15. You know, this was before I started playing 17, of course. And uh, I might actually still have the zip file somewhere, uh, whether it's in my downloads folder or on my external hard drive in a folder. But uh, I'm pretty sure that I have it somewhere. If not, I will just go find it again and download it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to cut the video here quick. <clears throat> and we'll be back when we're down to um, just a little bit more to plan. Alrighty, and we're back. It actually didn't take too terribly long, but it was long enough that I didn't want to film the whole thing because I really want to get into some haymaking, so. Well, some hay cutting, I guess. Some hay swathing, to be exact. <laughs> um, but, some hay work, we'll call it. I am super pumped to get into some of that. I really just don't do animals enough. Uh, it's not that often really that I do them. So, I did a bit of beef in 15 and I think I did a little bit of dairy. I don't think I ever really did pigs uh, at all. But I know I did some for animals, but it really wasn't a whole lot. All right, we're done planting for the season. Super stoked about that. <laughs> I'm super excited to park this tractor in the shed and leave it there for a little while. Although we may need either this or the uh, case um, during our haymaking. More so towards the end uh, when we start hauling our hay. And we might need another tractor when we do our feeding and stuff too. Uh, so that way we have our loader tractor and our, uh, you know, a normal tractor. So we're going to go ahead and park the planter since it doesn't need washing. And of course, hitting that did not help us in any way. Now, I'm not sure if I want to put the planters in here or not. I don't think I will. <clears throat> I'll just leave them both hooked together and I'll probably pull them up right along there. Alright, we're just going to hook this onto the drills here. 
And I'm just gonna turn that on once. Okay. Now we'll turn it off. Alright, there we go. That gets rid of that. Alright, so let's get this stuff cleaned up and put away. And we can get started on some hay. Find that sweet spot where it cleans up quick. That looks good to me. Seems like right on the John Deere label it cleans up pretty good, so. Of course, in real life, you wouldn't sit in one spot and it would uh, get cleaned up. It'd be kind of nice if it did. Sadly, it does not. Alright, let's get this thing... Whoop, wrong direction. Let's get this thing out of here and put away... We are going to have to dig our headers out pretty soon, too. Um, so that way those can come out before the crop is fully grown. Alright, we'll leave those guys right there, we'll get this put up in the shed, and we will head on over to the dairy farm. So another thing that's nice about having gotten rid of that Richard Western is we can park the tractor right here, and so if we need to, we can get the PJ trailer out, and we won't have to... Whoa. And we won't have to take out any equipment or anything. So that'll be nice. Alright, let's run over here to the pickup. And we'll jump in and head on up to the dairy. Alright, we'll see you guys in a second. Alright, and here we are. So I got a timer running on my phone instead, so now I don't have to keep switching back and forth between my desktop and stuff since my computer really is not enjoying me doing that at all. So we'll just park the pickup right here. Uh, we're going to have to put fuel in that thing pretty soon. It's starting to run a little low. We'll get uh, these opened up and we'll jump on in the swather we're gonna open the door up get it fired up get the header lifted up now the first place that we're gonna cut is just down here this place is not gonna be very fun for bailing because they're going to want to roll all over the place, but we're going to be doing silage this first time around, so that's really not going to be that big of a deal right now, but next time I'm going to have to figure something out to, uh, to get around that. Probably just going to have to kind of dump them in interesting ways. Anyhow, let's go ahead. We're going to drop the header. We're going to turn it on. get cutting. Definitely a very odd place to cut. Just because of how it is here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the screenshot for the thumbnail. There we go. Now we can get back to our cutting. So we'll 
get everything cut that we want to get cut. Uh, actually, I think this rain coming, or whatever that is, we probably should actually uh, go field by field. So once we get done mowing this field, we should probably just go ahead and pick it up right away. You know, get it raked and get it chopped. Uh, otherwise, if it gets rained on, it'll kind of start to lose uh, some of its volume, I think it is, or something like that. I don't know. But. Uh, one thing I just realized that we forgot to do is put a pressure washer up at this farm. But we'll, uh, we'll do that later. I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, not at all right now. That's just some some little thing that we can do later on. Let's see, I'll just continue over here for a little bit and then Definitely some interesting places to cut. Now there is another gate right there too. So that's good to know. We've got two entrances into this field. So we got this shed here that we can store a fair amount of hay in um, and then we have you know the big uh, shed up there on the hillside we can also store some bales up in that so that'll help plus the shed where we've got our equipment parked we can also put stuff up in there so I mean, we've got plenty of uh, space to store bales and if nothing else we can go to the little workshop too and store stuff and we can put some placeables down those might have to be a little bit away from the farm but they'll still uh they'll still work So doing this in cab is really really easy especially with the small header <coughs> yeah, it makes it pretty easy to see so after we uh, get this field mowed we will rake it and chop it uh, and I do still have to test out the um, fermenting silos, I don't see why they wouldn't work, but you never know in farm sim what things are going to do, so. I'd rather test it just to be safe rather than, you know, put all of our silage into it and it doesn't work right, because that would really suck to have happen. So you can hear the grain dryer running at that silo there. Kind of hard to see in some spots here as to just where we have and have not gone. It's mostly in the shady spots that it's kind of hard to tell. So we'll go around once more and then we'll uh, 
probably go all the, go along this side here and just keep going up and down it. Most likely anyways. Make four rounds around and that'll be uh, two passes with the rake since the rake can pick up two swather passes. Uh, I know that because I tested the rake just to make sure it worked. Uh, that rake, when it was in 15, was very goofy, I'll say. Uh, it oftentimes acted very strange. And sometimes wouldn't work. Sometimes it only work going one direction. And it was just really weird. So I made sure that I tested that out as well. And everything checked out on that. So, normally I do test things before using them. Sometimes I won't, because, like, it's something that I know works or something like that. Well, that's probably not really that often, but... Um, a lot of times I'll test things on... You know, I have a test save game on Goldcrest Valley that uh, I test everything out on. So, normally I fire that save game up and test things out but sometimes I just don't think of it or I just don't do it this is a pretty nice little swather though Definitely gets the job done. I have a feeling this is going to be a big bump. A little bit. Alright, one more time around. Our corners are starting to get a little bit tight now. I think I'm actually missing little bits of hay at times on them. Yeah, this hillside would definitely not be very fun to make hay bales on. So I don't know if I want to hay this thing or not. If I do, I might go up there a little bit farther. You know, get away from this hillside. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this. If I do bale it. And I will do some of the swathing off camera as well. Um, so that way in tomorrow's video we can um, do a little bit of raking and maybe get into some of the silage, hopefully. We'll see. But uh, at least finish swathing this field and then get some of the raking done on it. It is definitely kind of hard to see. The lights kind of help a little bit. Not much though. But I guess they help enough that I can leave them on. that was all about there that was strange to say the least <clears throat> so now we'll just continue on this side 
uh, going back and forth. Until we get to that tree, of course, then we gotta go around the tree. Maybe if I let the grass grow another day, it would be taller. I don't know. I haven't really done hay with Seasons Mod uh, very much, anyways. I need to bring my crews down here a little bit. I think 10 is plenty fast. Might even be a little too fast, but... It works, I guess. I think the header is actually kind of pulling the swath through a little bit at times because I've noticed it kind of turning, but it's not me doing it. turns a little bit differently in this thing. Yeah, it must be the header playing with the ground a little bit that is causing me to turn at times. Guess it's better just to leave the lights on. Extension thing here that's messing with things? Could be. Quite possibly be. I'm guessing that might have been what it was. Coming to the end and it wanting to uh, follow that grass. So I think what we'll do is we'll get back to the other end of the field here and then we'll uh, call her a day. And then I'll I'll do a bit more swathing off camera, um, and then we'll finish it off tomorrow, and also um, get started on some of the raking because uh, I want to get make sure that we can get this field off before this weather starts and comes in and messes up our hay. So, alrighty. Well, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. 
Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.